Here we have 4.5 factoring a quadratic with negative co leading coefficient. So as long as your um, expression here is in descending order, meaning that the variable with the highest exponent is first and that exponent decreases along the way. And here it does, the exponent is two, the exponent is one, and then there's no x's at all, meaning the exponent is zero, okay? So it does decrease. When it's in that decreasing um, form, then you can look at the first uh, coefficient. If the first coefficient is negative, you are forced to factor out that negative. Now, while you're factoring out that negative, you can also factor out the GCF. It's part of the GCF, okay? So two, three, and 14 don't have anything in common other than one. So my GCF is one, but I am forced to factor out that negative. So I actually have to factor out a negative one, leaving me with positive two X squared, positive three X and negative 14. It essentially changes the signs of everything when you factor out this negative one. So if I were to distribute it back in, I would get all the original signs of the expression that was given. Then I have to further finish um, to factor completely and factor this trinomial that's inside there. So two times negative 14 is negative 28. And then the factors that subtract 23 would be four times seven, three having to be positive. So the bigger number will be positive. So then I can split this into two X squared minus four X plus seven X minus 14. Factor by grouping 2x, x minus 2, plus 7, and x minus 2. And they have an x minus 2 in common with 2x plus 7 on the outside. That is not the final answer. I cannot box this. And the reason why is because if I multiply this out, I'm only going to get what was inside the parentheses. I'm not going to get the original expression. So you have to remember to put your GCF, even if it's a negative, in the front when you're all done factoring what was in the parentheses. And so this is my final answer.